Okay, class, uh, before we start a new discussion, I am going to have a review first. So last week, we already tackled the lesson 2. Practice of the uh, Occupational Health and Safety Procedures. Okay, evaluate, identify hazards and risks, control hazards and risks, and maintain occupational health and safety awareness. Okay, Philippine Occupational Health and Standards, Occupational Safety and Health. Okay, so it is a cross-disciplinary area concerned with pro uh, protecting safety, health, and welfare of people engaged in work. So the goal of all occupational safety and health programs is to foster a safe uh, work environment as a secondary effect. It may also protect co-workers, family members, employers, customers, suppliers, and nearby communities and other members of the public who are impacted by the workplace environment. The next, hazard and risk and its effects. So, a hazard is a situation that possesses a level of threat to life, health, property or environment so most hazards are dominant or potential within uh with only it uh, theoretical risk of harm so however once a hazard become active it can create an emergency situation so a hazard does not exist when it is not happening so a hazardous situation that has come to pass is called an incident so Hazard and vulner uh, vulnerability interact together to create risk. Okay, next. So, hazards are classified into three modes. Okay, dominant, armed, and active. So, yan yung tatlo uh, hazard na yan. Okay, next. Okay, types of Types of hazard, biological, chemical, mechanical, physical, and ergonomic. Okay, so this, uh, this picture is an example of dormant hazard. So what is dormant hazard? So yung dormant hazard is the situation that has the potential to be hazardous, but no people or property or environment is currently affected by D. So, for instance, uh, example, this picture, the hillside may be unstable with the potential for landslide, but there is nothing below or on the hillside that could be affected. Okay, so this picture is an example of armed hazard. So, armed hazard is a people or property or environment are in potential harms ways next okay this picture no man so it is an example of active hazard so it is a harmful incident involving the hazard has actually occurred so often this is referred to as not an active hazard but as an accident emergency incident or disaster okay so this picture is an example of violent a uh, biological hazard. So, yung biological hazard is one originating from an organism that is a foreign uh, in a presence or concentration to the organisms being affected. So, many biological hazards are associated with food including certain viruses, parasites, fungi, bacteria, and plants, and seafood toxins. Okay, another picture is an example of chemical hazard. So, chemical hazard can be considered a hazard if by virtue of its intrinsic properties can cause harm or danger to humans, property, or the environment. Okay, next picture is an example of Mechanical hazard. So, mechanical hazard is an hazard involving a machine or uh, process. 
like motor, uh, motor vehicles, aircraft, and airbags, uh, post mechanical hazards. So, compressed, uh, compressed gases or liquids can also be considered a mechanical hazard. Okay, physical hazards, yung mga picture na yan is an example of physical hazards. It is a naturally occurring process that has the potential to create loss or damage. So, physical hazard include but not limited to earthquake, floods, and tornado. Okay, physical hazard is often have both human and natural elements. Ergonomic hazard. Okay, so this picture is an example of ergonomic hazard. So ergonomic as a hazard, it is a physical factor within the environment that harms the mas uh, musculistical, uh, musculoskeletal system. So ergonomic hazard include uncomfortable workstation, like for the example in picture. Yeah, an uncomfortable workstation, yung uh, height, and poor body positioning. So, ergonomic hazard are caused by poorly designed workplace or processes. So, example, again, uh, for, uh, poor lightning or a job that requires to repeat the same movement over and over. So, again, example yung picture na yan. Okay, next, uh, next slide. So, safety and regulations. Okay. Philippine Clean Air Act of 1999. Okay. Republic Act number 8749, also known as Philippine Clean Air Act. Okay, so, Philippine Clean Air Act of 1999. So, the Clean Air Act is the constitution uh, constitutional law designed to make sure all uh, that all Filipinos have air that is safe to breathe. So public protection is the primary goal through the law. Also seeks to protect our environment from damage caused by air pollution. So ayan nga. So si Republic Act number 8749 and also known as Philippine Clean Air Act. Okay, so Okay, so the Clean Air Act is guided by the following principles. So, ano na ba yung mga principles ng Clean Air Act? So, una-una na dyan, protect and advance the right of the people to to a balanced and a helpful ecology in accord with the rhythm and harmony of nature. Next, promote and protect the global environment while organizing the primary responsibility of local government units to deal with environmental problems, recognize that the responsibility of cleaning the habitants and environment is primarily use-based and recognize, the last is recognize the, that a clean and healthy environment is for the good of all and should therefore be a concern of all. Okay, the so next. So, number two is the waste management. So, ano ba yung waste management? Ayan. So, waste management uh, includes all the items that people no longer have any use for, which they either intend to get rid of or have already discarded. So, many items can be considered uh, as waste like household rubbish, sewage, sludge, waste, from manufacturing activities, packaging items, discarded cars, old televisions, garden waste, old paint containers, and others. Okay, so there are two types of waste. Okay, solid waste and liquid waste. So, your solid waste uh, is defined as any waste that is dry in form and is discarded as unwanted. So, it can describe the solid waste from general housekeeping as a residential waste, refuse, household waste, or domestic. 
Okay, liquid ah uh, liquid waste naman ah uh, it is ah uh, includes the human waste runoff uh, like storm water or flood water, soldage, industrial ah uh, wastewater and other forms of wastewater from different ah uh, sources. Okay, next, ayan. So classification of waste according to their effects on human health and environment. Okay, so and then see hazardous waste and non-hazardous waste. Like okay, no uh, uh waste management and then Number three is the disaster preparedness and management. Okay, so, ayan, types of waste, ayan. Okay, so types of waste, uh, waste includes all items that no longer have any use for, which they either intend to get rid of or have already discarded. So, ayan, sabi ko na to kanina, so many items can be considered as waste. So, like, ayan, for example, yan yung rubbish. Household rubbish, sewage sludge, waste from manufacturing activities, packaging items, discarded cars, old television, garden waste, or old paint containers. Okay, next. Okay, types of waste again tayo. So, yun, yan, yung solid waste. So, ito yung example ng ating solid waste. So, nandiyan si plastic, bottles, styrofoam container, paper, and can. Liquid waste naman, so ayan, yung chemical, water, a uh, waste water from plants and oil. So ayan yung mga example ng liquid waste. Okay, classification of waste according to their properties. Okay, so biodegradable, so biodegradable waste are those that can be broken down or decomposed into their uh, constituent elements by bacteria and other microorganisms. So, the terms can be applied to both liquid and solid waste. Okay, example niyan. So, yun yung human and animal waste, food waste, paper, and ag agricultural waste. And then next, okay, non-biodegradable naman. So, it is a trash, a a non-biodegradable trash. It's any discarded item that cannot be broken down by living organisms. So Non-biodegradable trash accumulates in the environment because it cannot return to its origin. So example nyan, in plastic, bottle, old machines, and containers. Okay, so next, classification of waste according to their effects on human health. Okay. So, hazardous waste. Okay. So, yung hazardous waste are unsafe substance used commercially, industrially, agriculturally, or economically. So, example nyan. Ayan, yung nasa picture natin. Yung paint, motor oil, pesticides, drain opener, prescription drug, air freshener, and batteries. So, yan yung mga examples ng hazardous waste. How about non-hazardous waste? So, example nyan. So, non-hazardous waste. Okay, again. So, non-hazardous waste uh, are safe substance used commercially, industrially, agriculturally, or economically. So, example nyan. Yung paper, cardboard, linings, wrappings, paper packaging materials, or absorbent. So, yan yung mga example ng non-hazardous Okay, so next natin, yung process flow of waste management. So, ayan. Okay, so the process of flow refers to the three or four RS, and yung reduce, reuse, recycle, and recovery. So, which classify as waste management strategies according to their desirability? So, the RS are meant to be a hierarchy. In order of importance, however, so the waste hierarchy has a five steps. So, ayan, nasa picture natin. Okay, so the steps are reduce, reuse, recycle, recovery, and landfill. And, o yung disposal. Okay, so, yung reduce natin, 
Yung reduce is to buy less and or lowering the amount of waste produced. And reuse naman, it is the using materials repeatedly and recycle. It is the using materials to make new product. And recovery is recovering energy from waste and landfill is the safe disposal to landfill. landfill. Okay. So that is the process or yung flow of waste management. Okay, next. Okay, so next natin. Ito yung uh, disaster management cycle. So, uh, disaster management cycle. Okay, so... Uh, pag sinabi ng disaster preparedness and management, so aims to reduce or avoid the potential losses of or losses from hazards. So assure from and appropriate assistance to victims of disaster and achieve rapid and effective recovery. So disaster management cycle, so ayan yung nasa picture natin. So una na dyan, so mitigation. So yung mitigation natin, ito yung minimizing the effects of this site. Uh, Disasters. Ayan, prevention. And then next natin is the preparedness. Okay, preparedness is building codes and zoning. So, vulnerability analysis, public education. Ay, ah, uh, wait. Uh, preparedness, ito yung planning how to uh, respond. So, yan, yung early warning. So, example yan, yung preparedness plan, emergency exercising and training warning system. Okay, next natin ay yung uh, response. So, pag sinabi nating response, ito na yung efforts to minimize the hazards created by disasters. Example niyan, uh, search and rescue, emergency relief. Ayan, nasa picture natin. Then, the last is the recovery. Yung recovery is returning the community to normal. So, example niyan, yung temporary housing. Uh, grants, medical care, ayan, the construction of uh, reconstruction and rehabilitation. So, yan yung example ng ating disaster management cycle. Okay, next. Okay. So, dito na tayo sa ating next topic, which is the contingency measures and procedures. So, ito na yung uh, a week for natin, contingency measures and procedures. Okay, a contingency plan is a written emergency procedures plan which describe what action must be taken to minimize hazard from fires, explosion, or unplanned releases of hazardous waste or hazardous waste continue, uh, continuance to air, soil, or water. So, Okay, next, so what must a contingency plan include? So, una dyan, so a description of emergency procedure. So, to followed by the facility personnel and response to fires, explosion, or any unplanned sudden or non-sudden release of hazardous waste or hazardous waste continuing to air, soil, and water. Okay, next. A description of arrangement. Okay, description of arrangement to by a local uh, police departments, fire departments, hospitals, contractors, and state of and local emergency response teams. Okay, an up-to-date list of names, address, and phone numbers. Okay, so office and home. So all uh, of all persons qualified to act as an emergency coordinator. So, when more than one person is listed and one be dis uh, designated as a primary emergency coordinator and the other must be listed in the, in the order in which uh, they will assume responsibility as alternate. Next, an up-to-date list of all emergency equipment okay so at the uh, at the facility including the location and physical description of each item along with a brief outline of its capabilities example of emergency equipment include but not 
live uh, but are not limited to fire extinguishing system, communication and alarm system, personal protective equipment, field contain, uh, containment or cleanup equipment, and the contamination equipment, and the last is an evacuation plan for facility personnel. Okay, next, the evacuation. Okay, it is an immediate on immediate and rapid movement of people away from the street of street or actual occurrence of hazard. So example nyan. Yan, sa picture natin. So example nyan. Arrange from a small scale evacuation of a building due to a bomb threat or fire at to large scale evacuation of a district because of flood, uh, uh, bombardment, or approaching weather system. In situation involving hazardous materials or possible contamination, evacuees may be de uh, decontaminated prior to being transported out the contaminated area. Okay, next, isolation. Okay, so isolation refers to the various measures taken to prevent contagious diseases from being spread from a patient to other patients, healthcare workers, and uh, visitors, or from other to a particular patient. So, form of isolation. So, ano na ba yung mga forms of isolation? So, ayan, uh, strict isolation is used for diseases spread through the air and in some cases by contact. Okay, pangalawa dyan, yung contact isolation is used to prevent the spread of diseases that can be spread through contact with opiate ones. And the three, number three, respiratory isolation is used for diseases that are spread through uh, particles that are ex exhaled. And then number four, uh, number four, uh, blood and body fluids precaution is used when there is concern about communi uh, communicable diseases found in a patient's body fluid. And then the last, okay, the reverse isolation is a method to prevent a patient's in a compromised health situation from being contaminated by other people or objects. And then the last is the decontamination. It is the reduction of removal of chemical agents. It may be accomplished uh, by removal of these agents by physical means or by chemical neutralization or detoxification. Okay, so I have here an activity. It is called the picture gallery. So direction, identify the following personal protective equipment by writing its name on your TLA notebook. So I want you to write it on your TLA notebook. Identify what are the names of this personal protective equipment or PPE. And so... Okay, so personal protective equipment or PPE. So, ano nga ba yung uh, personal protective equipment or PPE? So, okay, personal protective equipment refers to the protective clothing, helmets, goggles, or other garment or equipment designed to protect so a wearer's body from injury by blunt impact electrical hazard, heat, chemicals, and infections in job-related health uh, purposes. Okay, so I have here the list of personal protective equipment or PPE. Okay, so these are the following list of personal protective equipment. So, una dyan, so non-specialty safety tool protective footwear. So, Ayan, so it is a steel tube boot. It is also known as a safety boot, 
steel top boot or safety shoe. It is a durable boot or shoes that has a protective reinforcement in the tool which protects the foot from a folding object or compression, usually uh, combined with a, a mid-sole plate to protect against punctures from below. Okay, so yan yung picture ng non-specialty safety tool, protective footwear. Okay, next picture or next uh, PPE. So, yan, non-specialty uh, non uh, per, uh, prescription safety eyewear. So, it is a glasses and then also known as an eyeglasses or formal spectacles or simply specs or in format. So, frames bearing lenses worn in front of the eyes. So they are normally used to, uh, uh, normally used for vision correction or eye protection. So safety glasses are a kind of eye protection against flying debris or against visible and near visible light or radiation. Okay, next, sunglasses or sunscreen. So sunglasses allow better vision or bright delight and may protect against damage from high levels of ultraviolet lights, other types of glasses may be used of viewing visual information such as stereo study. Okay, next, the study word shoes. So it is a shoe, an item of footwear intended to protect and comfort the human foot while doing various activities. Okay, next. Lineman's boots. Okay, lineman's boots. Uh, lineman's boots are worn boot, uh, worn boot for their uh, functionality. So, protecting the foot and leg from water, snow, mud, or hazards, or providing additional ankle support for a uh, strenuous activity. Okay, next. Ordinary gold wither gear. So, it is a jacket or ordinary cold weather gear. Uh, it's a hip or waist link garment for the upper body. It is a jacket typically has a sleeves and fastens in the front. Ja front and a jacket this is a, a, it's generally lighter, tighter fitting and less ins uh, insulating than a coat which is Outer wear. Okay, next. A lagging boots. Okay, lagging boots is a type of footwear and a specific type of shoe. Uh, most boots mainly cover the uh, foot and the ankle and extend up the leg. Uh, sometimes as far as the knee or even the hip. Okay, next. Ordinary rain gear. Okay, it is a raincoat. A raincoat is a waterproof or water-resistant coat worn to protect the body from rain. So the term rain jacket is sometimes used to refer to raincoats that are waist length. So a rain jacket may be uh, combined with a pair of rain pants uh, to make a uh, rain suit. So, so we we'll sign up a uh, May mga partner-partner tayo na bibili na um, raincoat or ordinary rain gear. Okay, next. Back belt. Okay, back belt is a lumbar support belt. Uh, generally lightweight belts worn around your or the lower back to provide support to the lumbar. Okay, next. Okay, long sleeve shirt. A long sleeve shirt is a type of shirt of a style and fabric similar to a t-shirt. Although, of course, with the long sleeves, a long sleeve t-shirt is sometimes worn underneath a short sleeve shirt for warm, typically during cold season. Okay, long pants. Long pants or long trousers. Pants usually in the 
uh, in a plural or a garment extending from waist to the knee or ankle covering each leg separately. Okay, last. Okay, that mask respirators use. Okay, a dust mask is a flexible pad held over the, the nose and mouth by elastic the rubber trap a strap to protect against dust encountered during the construction or cleaning activities such as dust from drywall, concentrate wood, a fiberglass, silica, the uh, ceramic or glass production, or sleeping. Okay, next. Operational health and safety procedures, practice and regulation, emergency related drills, and training. Okay, fire safety. Uh, this refers to the precautions that are taken to prevent or reduce the likelihood of a fire that may result in death, injury, or property damage. So alert those in a structure to the uh, presence of an uncontrolled fire in the event once occurs. So deter enable the threatened by a fire to survive or to reduce the damage caused by a fire. So fire safety measures include those that are planned during the uh, construction of a building or implemented in structures that are already already standing and those that are taught uh, to occupants of the building. So, uh, in our country, fire, uh, fire Prevention Month is being observed in, in March of every year, led by the Bureau of Fire Protection or BFP. So, the, for, uh, the purpose of the month-long observance to heighten the fire safety cons uh, conscious consciousness of the Filipino people and reduce incidents of fires that result to property losses. So, okay, so there are several causes of fire. So, there are as follows. Okay, so, muna dyan, overheated appliances like failures to switch off water heater and Unplugging flat iron after use. The next, worn out electrical connections. Left unattended light and candles. Overheated lights, yung Christmas lights to be specific. And lanterns. Sudden surge of electricity. Okay, so, yan yung mga several causes of uh, fire. So, there, yan yung mga sumusunod na yan. So, next. Okay, fire drills are conducted at the frequencies specified by the fire code and involve all the following activities and considerations. Okay, so number one, the term alarm system is activated as part of a drill. Okay, so activated is a manner to, ass uh, to assess the uh, response of Supervisory staff and participants to the alarm condition or are alternatively activated by an individual participating in a given fire scenario situation, which is unexpected response during the drill. The next supervisory staff operates emergency system and equipment as they would in the event of the actual fire. So, where applicable, the voice communication or uh, paging system, elevator, protocol, smoke uh, control equipment, protocol, and etc. Next, okay, so all supervisory staff that have a specific duties identified in the fire safety plan participate uh, notification of the fire department provisions for access for firefighting, evacuating uh, endangered occupants, closing doors, notification of supervisory staff who may be off site, and an assessment of their timely response, and etc. 
And then the fired reel runs long enough to adequately assess the expected responses of a supervisory staff. That uh, in the emergency procedures uh, relative to the scenario expectation. So if the drills is too much short, it may not be possible to adequately assess whether sufficient staff have or will respond, etc. Okay, so the fire drill outcomes are documented and where concerns are identified, correct measures are implemented. So the desirable degree of occupant particip uh, participation is taken into account. Okay, so earthquake. So it is the shaking and vibration of the surface of the earth uh, resulting from underground movement along a full plane or from a volcanic activity. So, okay, so the following activities are to be undertaken. So, during, uh, during earthquake, so yung inders natin. So, dapat stay inside, drop, cover, and hold. So, move only a few steps to a nearby safe place. A place. So, take cover under the under and hold into a piece of heavy furniture or stand against an inside wall. So, stay indoors until the shaking stops. Stay away from windows and doors. Okay, so, next is uh, find a clear spot away or if you are in bed, hold stay, uh, hold stay and hold on and stay and protect your head with the pillow outdoors. So find a clear spot away from building trees and power lines and then drop the ground until the shaking stops. So again, so okay for next. Personal safety. So after, so after the earthquake. So pagkatapos ng earthquake, yung personal safety natin. So expect the aftershock each time you will feel one or drop cover and hold on. Okay, then check yourself for injuries. Protect yourself by wearing long pants or long sleeve shirt, sturdy shoes, and work gloves. And then listen to a battery operated radio or television for at least emergency information. And then check other injuries. And then uh, remember to help your neighbors who may require a special assistance like infants, the elderly, and people with disabilities. And then next, okay, after earthquake penantayo, so. Pag sa bahay naman, so dapat ang ginagawa natin, inspect your home for damage, get everyone out if your home is unsafe, and then fires, look for the extinguisher small fires, and then gas, check your gas leak. If you smell gas or hear blowing or hissing noise, open a window and leave building, turn off the gas at the uh, valve, and then electricity, Look and electrical system damage. Turn off the electricity at the main fuse box or circuit breaker if you see sparks or a broken or frayed wires or if a uh, smell has insulation. If you have a step in water to get to the fuse box or circuit breaker, call an electrician first uh, for advice. So, okay. And then sewage water, check for sewage and water line damage. Okay, so first aid. So it is a provision or initial care for an illness or injury. Okay, so it is usually performed by an expert, but trained personnel to a sick or injured person until a, a definite medical treatment can be assessed. So, a good first aider must be possess the following characteristics. So, unajan, watchful, so pay strict attention to the situation. 
and then resourceful to ability of the uh, devising ways and means. And then number three, gentle, so having a kind and calm characteristic. And then diplomatic, careful in saying a word not to get, not to upset other people. And, and sympath sympathetic and mutual association or feeling to be shown to, to the victim. And then gladsome, uh, possessing a good spirit likely to display bloom. And then, okay, the last is the general direction for first aid. So, okay, una dyan, give immediate action. So, action taken needs to be careful not to cause panic. So, the first aider must remain calm at all times. And the number two, keep the victim on its position. If possible, lay him or tear down. And the number three, assess the situation, examine the victim from injuries, and then plan action to be taken. It involves seeking expert assistance. Okay, so that are the general direction for the first aider. So, so hanggang dito muna. Okay, so this is our whole topic of the uh, lesson two. So, I want you to have your notebook to jot down this topic. Okay, to jot down the important uh, topics. Okay, so I will collect all your notebooks by uh, Tuesday. So, I want you to write your important details and, the, and also the activities that I show you. So, answer it in your TLE notebook. So, again, I will collect your TLE notebook by Tuesday. So, set down the important details. So, that's all. Thank you again, grade 7. Thank you for listening. Okay.